Hey friends, welcome back to the show. In today's video, we are located in a small subdivision where a woman has recently purchased a house and she wants us to come in and remove a soaker tub so she can make a linen closet out of it. This ought to be fun. Let's go take a look. At this time, nobody is living in this house. Uh, it's just us. We did meet with the homeowner. We cut the water out. Now let's see what we're working with here. There she is. That right there is a soaker tub. It does not have a jet pump or anything. It is fiberglass enclosed, so it's a one piece. Now she wants to make this area right here into a linen closet. Well, this is gonna require us to cut this wall open and get that drain all detached, get the tub out and cap everything off. Even if I've got to break that floor open down when we get the tub out and recess the drain into the floor and put a cap on there. Let's get the dirty work started. First thing we're gonna to have to do is we gotta detach this plumbing. Um, as Melwin Posi temp, the cartridge is bad in there. We're gonna end up getting into this drywall and all that other good stuff in here. We gotta get this tub out of here. If she don't care about the drywall or the tub, because the carpenters will be coming in here after we're done and they're gonna be rebuilding a new wall and a new linen closet for it. All right, safety first. I tried getting that drain to turn. It's turned a little bit, but it's it's hard. So we're gonna take an angle grinder. We're gonna cut that, that drain out of there before we get started with the valve and stuff. everything back we have to cut this whole area out so we can actually take and cut the line back in the wall there we go oh she's coming up tough i could just break this all out but this is a good handle and i'm not a hoarder but when i come out to do these kind of jobs i like to save whatever's still good because it may end up coming in handy at another job down the road beat around this thing until we get everything cleared out of the way. Gonna have some drywall damage, but like I said, they're gonna be redoing all of this drywall and everything. We've gotta get this tub out of here any way possible and keep the damage in this little area. Like I said, nobody's staying in this house. It doesn't matter how we get that tub out of there. We're gonna break that thing apart. Uh, use a flat bar here pretty soon. All the plumbing is detached. The only thing I gotta remove is that tub valve. And uh, there's going to be a drywall repair, like I said, but she's got carpenters coming in here to take her all that stuff after we get our job done. So I was cutting that line out for the, uh, the pipes in that valve and stuff, and the pipes just didn't feel right back there in that wall and soft copper like they were moving around. And I looked a little closer and I stopped what I was doing and I came out here to the back side of it where the garage is and look. We've got an access panel. Look at this. Those lines have totally been capped off. See that? Because they did a repipe with PEX through the attic. So that stuff's all gone. Now we get a good view of what's back here behind this tub. That way we can see what we're up against. It's an offset drain. And then we just need to beat this tub out of there. We're not worried about doing anything with the copper lines because they're capped off at this point. That's a good thing that's going to help our job out a whole lot more. All right, there go 
close the valve. Done with that. Those two lines right there, we're gonna pull them out, just to get them out of the way and stuff. But now the plumbing is officially unattached. Now we're just gonna break the rest of this tub out. <laughs> Let's take a moment to review. Up to this point, we know this. We found out the house had a repipe done on it. And when they did so, they capped off the lines to those tubs. So somebody, whoever owned this house for this lady, said to heck with that, I don't want that tub. And when they did the repipe, they capped the lines off. So that was out of order for who knows how long. So at this point in the game, we're gonna take the angle grinder, we're gonna cut. The reason why I'm cutting that lip around there is because back behind the drywall, there's a lip on the tub like that. And if I just cut that out, then we can beat that lip out of there or cut it out afterwards. This is gonna allow us to try to kind of just cut that piece loose and just yank it on out of there. Easier said than done. <laughs> built these houses and they put these tubs in remember there wasn't no walls up at that point in time and they had a building everything else around it like the tile on the floor the baseboards the drywall all that stuff so she was very aware I made it very clear to her that the drywall was going to need to be repaired and she had no problem with that she just wants a tub out of there and a the plumbing out of the way and that's what we're here to do Someone told me to go out and around to the garage where we saw that access panel where they'd done the repipe for the new pecs and I forgot about it when I was cutting this out. The angle grinder, we got real lucky because right here in this area, there's PEX piping that's going up and over to where that tankless water here is, and we just missed it. So always be mindful of what's behind a wall before you start cutting stuff. I had to reevaluate what we're doing here. Now the back side of the tub is the laundry. There's more plumbing back there as well as 240 volts of electricity for the dryer. So we're gonna have to do this in phases because the last thing I want to do is mess something up back there. After further review, I've decided that the easiest way, safest way to get this tub out of here, and we're gonna have to break the drywall up above this lip because look it's screwed down all the way around I think we've gotten it to the point where we can pretty much wiggle this thing out. So wish me luck. place here we got a blanket over there we're going to set it on there and slide it out because there's new flooring back there then we'll come back and we'll look at the aftermath yeah. wow that gave us some fits we're going to do some cleaning up and we'll do something about that tub drain
quite as planned. I think this thing snapped off underneath the floor, which is even better because we're going to probably fill that with expandable foam. that's going to take care of us here at this job today like i said the guys are going to come in and they're going to be redoing this floor and they can throw some more concrete in there and do whatever they have to do as well as drywall it and they're going to be making this into a linen closet for this lady and trust me there will never be a tub back in this area again let's wrap this joint up going to do it for this one thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video i run into more and more of you folks that have these big tubs in the house and you don't use them and you're like well i wish i could get this out of here well just be prepared because this is just a little sample of what's going to happen you're going to need to line up a carpenter drywall guy all that other stuff if that's what you're planning on doing we got kind of lucky it was just a fiberglass soaker tub and it wasn't one of those roman tubs or garden tubs that have uh the big pumps on there with electrical and it's all framed in with tile and stuff because that's a lot messier of a job and it's a lot more time consuming anyway about it if you get involved in doing something like this safety first remember there are hidden little dangers behind the walls such as electrical and all that other stuff and water lines so don't go just jumping in thinking you could just tear this thing out in five minutes because it's not going to happen got any comments questions leave them down below and don't forget to keep plumbing